Well, good day, Max here again. Welcome back to the shop. So, just a quick one this week. Um, we're just going to make a few little countersunk head British standard fine threads, which you can't, the uh, customer can't get anymore. Is out of an old 1940s tractor. So, we'll run down how I would tackle just a short run of 10 parts there. And we also had some uh, viewer gifts come in, which <laughs> pretty rare for me, but uh, does happen on occasion. So anyway, let's head over to the lathe and we'll have a look at these screws. Well, this is like putting the chicken before the egg because there's the completed ones there. So as per sample, 10 made, 3.8 British Standard Whitworth countersunk screws. Uh, lucky for me, the owner's going to slot the heads himself. So we'll go through the process of just a, a short run of, an easy way to do a short run of 10 without any, um, too much messing around setting up the machine. So I'll just walk you through the process of how I'm tackling this job. So I have my little cheat sheet here, which I've just smudged off half of it. So our OD, we've got to turn down for the screw thread, 3.8 diameters for 3.8 long. So zero there represents zero on our cross slide dial for our finished pass. When we cut our thread, starts at 26 thou on the cross slide dial and finishes at 58 thou on the cross slide dial, giving us 32 thou depth of thread. I'm just saving the last two thou for a, a die to clean up and form the correct profile at the end. So let's spin around or I'll hop on the other side of the lathe and we'll uh, knock one out. So because I'm only doing ten of these things, it's not worth my while um, setting up um, a stop. You could bring the bar out up against the hard stop on one of your tools zero out your carriage dial there and that makes that does save a lot of time but if i was doing more than 20 of these i would take those extra steps as it would save a lot of time but because there's only 10 of them it's not really worth uh mucking around doing it so our first operation um we have this high speed steel tool here so this will turn down the OD and form the angle for the chamfer under the countersink head. So we go in, we take 90% of it off in one cut and then come in for a, just take the last few thou out for finishing. That um, Doing that, we don't have any problems with um, flex and tool pressure and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll I wind the tool into our correct depth, which is there. I've, I've just picked a number that I'm using off the cross slide dial, and it's a few thou before our zero finish pass. So when our tool will start cutting, and then I'll stop here, well, when the nose of the tool is about halfway along, and then I'll come back and line up the nose of the tool with the end of the part, zero out our carriage dial and then then i'll know then our three eighths or 9.5 millimeter length i'll know then when to when to stop so once we've done that then we'll do the chamfer on the end
Okay, so that's OD for the thread completed, chamfer done, and countersunk taper done. So we put our threading tool in now, and we're only going to take uh, three passes to cut the thread. So I'll put the lathe into low range, just one speed change for the whole uh, operation. Our thread done, so we'll run the die down just to bring it to what well, brings them all to a really consistent finished size. And I, I run the die um, back to front as barely it's only like taken off too thou with that just to complete their proper thread form as well. Okay. So we deburr now with the file, go back into high range. Scotch Bright just knocks any fluff off it. So in with our parting off tool now and chop the part off. That's our completed screw. So they can't buy these anymore. The, um, these were made in 1940 and they're off uh, a tractor. Same sort of, it's all part of the same tractor we'll be doing a few oddball ends for, oddball parts for. So, right. Okay, I'll knock one out now without talking. And bring you along for the lucky last. <laughs> and you just got that was my trial one. So actually I could use that because that's that should be good to go. All we gotta do is thread that one. Nah. We'll bring you in for one more complete one. 
just in case we um, being a trial one something's not quite there Lucky last. So we've had a few odds and ends uh, rocking to the workshop um, over the last couple of weeks. So first one is uh, from Matty over in Matty's workshop. Matty's over in New South Wales on the New South Wales coast, Australia. And Matty made us up this gear. This is a 35 tooth gear. Not really nice job of it too. Now what this is for, our lathe that we, our small lathe, our Hafco AL960B lathe, that lathe cannot cut one uh, 1.75 millimeter pitch threads. Like 
for example, uh, 12 millimeter thread. It's a really common thread, and I believe this is an issue with quite a few um, these smaller um, lathes like that. So yeah, Maddie made one for himself and a few others, and um, knocked us or sent us one over. So the B6 on the bottom. That's where you put your quick change gearbox set to, and. Uh, it will cut 1.75 millimeters. So we'll give it a go and see how it is. So cheers, Maddie. Thanks. And also, Paul from over in the UK Hacks has a channel, uh, Hacksby Shed, sent us over one of his stickers. So we'll get that. I think there's a little spot in the bottom corner we can just squeeze. Oh, there's one in the top corner too. We can just squeeze this one into. So have a look at Paul's channel. He's currently working on a, um, it's a Harrison milling machine. So he's ironing out some of the bugs and issues on that machine. So yeah, check out Paul's channel. He does have some uh, good ideas and been around a bit. So there you go, Paul, right up in the top corner there. So the old board, she's uh, fairly full now, this one. Uh, a little spot in the corner there. Room for one more. <laughs> so there's another guy over the other side of Australia, up in the uh, Gold Coast in Queensland, and yeah, he has a bit of a small engineering channel going. Um, he's lucky enough to have his, his wife does the filming. So yeah, he's a um, pretty new channel, hasn't been around all that long, and... So he sent me over a new welding gun for my larger MIG welder as my one is a bit knackered. So thanks for that. He also sent me, let me get this out of the way, <laughs> small channel there, I'm just taking the piss. It's, um, it's actually Curtis from um, CEE. Over, over in uh, Gold Coast there. So I've managed to relieve him of um, a pair of Algra Rapidu quick change tool posts. Now one of these is destined for the Herbert turret lathe. So let's have a look inside the box. Voila! So thanks mate, you're a fucking legend. So this one here, as I said, this one is a tad smaller than this one. This one will be going on our Herbert capstan lathe. And I'm going to look at putting this one on the JFMT lathe. So, this is, a, um, this is great. Absolutely brilliant. These have, a, you can hook your coolant up. So you can have coolant jets coming out of your tool post if you're if you want to so yeah they're just a uh, a good quality copy of a the British Dixon and I think they're Italian these made in Italy uh, it sort of looks like Italian sort of writing to me it's actually the same maker tool post as we have on the larger heron lathe but that has um, a way bigger one again so anyway Thanks to Curtis and Karen. Cheers. Okay, so I think we'll bring this one to a close here. Um, <laughs> we had a good result with the little pesky screws. No problems at all there. And some great um, things, that, you know, some great gifts have come into the shop too. So much appreciated all of that. So anyway, cheers. Thank you for watching. And we'll hopefully see you next video.